Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing great. In today's video, we've got a bunch of news in regards to Pokemon Sword and Shield. We've got a brand new Max Raid event happening right now, as well as a bunch of mystery gift Pokemon that you're gonna be able to get your hands on. We'll cover all the details in today's video. And without further ado, because we've got a lot to cover, we'll kick off straight away with all the details of this brand new Max Raid event. So over on Cerebi.com, the link to this page will be down in the description if you want to take a closer look at yourself, but we will cover all the details in today's video. You can see it is going to be marked small Pokemon event, all about small Pokemon. So it's going to run from the 9th of September, which is today as of recording this video and it's going to run right through till the 19th of September so we've got a lot of time to take advantage of this event we've got a couple of weeks really so uh, a lot of time that you're not going to be able to miss out on it and make sure that you can get the most out of this event while it is running there's going to be no differences between either version of the game that you got sword or shield the Pokemon that you're going to get in the raid dens is going to be exactly the same regardless of version that you've got uh, you're going to start off with the one star raids and remember the different star raids uh, are all based on how many gym badges you've got if you've got no gym badges you're only going to be able to access the one star raids and the juice like I always say is always going to be in those five star raids so you're going to want to be the champion complete the game pretty much uh, to access those five star raids just to get that out of the way in case anyone is just new to playing sword and shield uh, but the one star raids Pokemon we've got, we've got Snom, Pukumuku, and Pinchurchin. So no special items really standing out from these Pokemon. Gonna be a selection of berries, TMs, and other items that you would normally get from these sort of raids. Moving on to the two star raids, you're gonna get higher level Pokemon. Uh, again, the same items, same selection of Pokemon. Same with the three star raids, gonna be that bit higher level Pokemon again, but no changes in anything. You're gonna get a few more items for these, and then the four star raids, Again, higher level Pokemon, gonna be level 50 this time. The Snom, Pukumuku, and Pinchurchin all gonna be the small Pokemon once again. And then we move down, like I say, to the juice, the five star raids. This is where you're probably most of you are gonna to want to concentrate your time in these raid events. And this is because there is the opportunity to get a shiny Snom. There is a 2% chance that it will be a guaranteed square shiny. Alongside the Snom, you're also gonna have a regular Snom. It's gonna have a 19% chance of spawning in this event den, as well as a Pukumuku. Uh, around 19 20% and then the pin church and all gonna be level 60 but the big thing around this five star raid is the five star snom which can have the chance to be shiny like I say gonna be 2% and as I mentioned at the start of the video there is gonna be no difference between versions you're gonna have the same opportunity in shield as you would in sword and vice versa so that is the event then that is running like I say you've got a little bit longer than we normally do to take advantage of these events in game and get that shiny snom you got until the 19th of September to do that and uh, we'll just hop over into game now to show you what you can do so in the switch here we go um i should have the event den already there so if you haven't got the den dens updated in your game all you want to want to do is come into your menu mystery gift screen and then get wild area news it'll connect you to the internet and then it will update all of the dens in the the wild area the isle of armor and the crown tundra so it counts for all of the dens in the entire game and even the dlc so it doesn't matter which den you go to you're going to be wanting to look for these red beams not the purple ones because the event dens will not appear in the purple beams and what you can do this is an area i like to come to i normally cover this in these event update videos is dappled grove here in the wild area so you can see it's this area here in the corner of the wild area in this first kind of section of the wild area and that is because there are two dens next to each other now to manipulate the dens and get those five star snoms you're going to have to drop a wishing piece into the dens we get this question quite a lot people say the date skip glitch isn't working and i always ask have you dropped a wishing piece into the den and a lot of the time they haven't and if you do the date skip glitch without actually activating the den with a wishing piece from yourself, from your player character, then the date skip won't work. If it's just a den that has spawned regularly in game and you come across it and it is the event den and you use the date skip glitch, it will disappear. So you will lose it. So you've got to do it with the wishing piece. That's the only way you can manipulate the dens to continually get five star snobs. So once you've done that, you'll be looking in the den once you drop your wishing piece to see if it is the event den. 
course that is not because that Pokemon normally spawns there and it, what we're looking for is the three baby Pokemon it's not very difficult this event and there you go we've got the Pukumuku here it isn't a Pokemon that normally appears here it might take a little bit longer to get the event den uh, spawning but just be patient if you come between these two dens it will not take long at all so once you've got the event den what you want to be doing is then coming into it, invite others, make sure you're not online when you do this, you don't need to be, hit your home menu, then come down to your system settings, and then come down to system, and then date and time, and then just skip the date forward one day. Make sure that you have your sync uh, clock synchronized by the internet off, and then once you've done that, you wanna come back into the game, and then quit out of the den. Uh, I've covered this in pretty much all the event videos that we've done, but this is just to make sure that you realize that that is how the date goes forward one day. The weather normally changes, it hasn't in this situation, but you can see clicking into the den again, we're getting 2000 watts and hopefully we can get in before this Delhi bird attacks us. And you can see the Pokemon has changed. So what you wanna be doing in this situation is using this date clip glitch to invite others, go down to your, your system settings and then into the system then date and time, skip the day forward one day, click OK, come back into the game, quit out of the den, and then it will change it. And what we're looking for is those five star snoms because that is what we're hunting for. And you can see it isn't, it's a three star Pukumuku. So you continue to do this process until you get that five star snom. Let's try this again and there we go we got the five star snom it might take a little while just have some patience but you will eventually get the five star snom and this is the one that we're looking for this is the five star snom that has the potential to be the square shiny so once you've got this what you want to do is just save your game so make sure you save at this point so the den you can then if it isn't uh, when you go into check at the shiny you can reset your game and then start the date skipping until the next five star snom so you'd see we just got in we don't need to invite others because all we're doing at this point is checking to see if it is shiny or not i hope it is we've had one where it has been shiny on our first try before hopefully it is again i don't know if i'm really that confident don't think it is does it look like it is don't think it is it's a hard one to tell it's not shiny okay so like i say if it's not shiny what you want to do is just reset your game and then you will just use the date skip glitch again on the same den to get to the next five star snom raid save again check that one if it's not shiny then just reset keep doing it and just cycle through all those five star snom dens that you come across check them all if they're not shiny then just move on if they're shiny you've got it and you've got your shiny so and you've saved in front of it as well so if it does go wrong or if it escapes at the end of the battle you can reset and then try and get it again so make sure you've got auto saves off though Okay, so that is the event den that's running right now and you've got until the 19th of September to take advantage of that. Lots of time to get that shiny snom. It's definitely something I'll be trying to get a hold of in that time. So good luck and as always, if you do get it, let me know down in the comment section that you've been successful in getting it. I love hearing about everyone that's able to get it, how early you are getting it as well. A lot of you get it super early on. So let me know down in the comment section how you've been getting on with it. Now, the next thing we're gonna cover is an update on the Ash Ketchum mystery gift giveaway that has been running. We recently did a video covering the Dragonite and the Gengar. The Gengar is still running until the 15th of September, I believe, but there has been an update uh, with the next mystery gift Pokemon in this line of gift from the Ash Ketchum anime team. And it is gonna be Surfetched, which is one of Ash's Pokemon. So the code is there for the Surfetched for you to get now in game. So you'll be able to just put this code in game and we will be putting the code up on the screen for you. What you wanna be doing is just going into your mystery gifts, get mystery gift and get with code or password. And this will log you onto the internet as it always does. And what you wanna be doing is putting the code that is on the screen right now in and you will be able to get yourself a surfetched for part of the whole ash set of pokemon and once you put the code in it will just take a minute to kind of get itself together and the surfetch gift will be there you just click on it and it will be imported into game this event is running until the 22nd of september so you're gonna have until the 22nd to take advantage of getting this surfetch make sure you do grab it in time especially if you've been getting the other ones um already so the surfetch again going to be a lot like the other pokemon that you've already collected in the ash ketchum mystery gift giveaway and you can see it's got that nice kind of uh, little 
hint to it being from the anime shot in the uh, the Pokemon's description. Uh, the data seems to come from the Pokemon animated show, which is pretty cool. So. Um, it's a nice little gift to get uh, while they are still gone. And like I say, the Gengar is still running. Dragonite has finished, unfortunately, but the Surfetched has now begun. And we've only got the Lucario to go, which will probably be next week. So we'll do an update when that does happen. And the final thing that we're going to cover in today's video is a mythical mystery gift event that has kicked off in and around Europe and um, other parts of the world. So this is going to be for a, a Vulcanian, a Mars Shadow and a Genesec that you're going to be able to get your hands on through distribution, special codes that you're going to be able to get from specific retailers in and around your region. Uh, this will be running until the 30th of September. This actually event began today as of recording this video on the 9th of September. Like I say, we'll be running to the 30th of September. Uh, so in the UK, like I say, you're gonna be able to go to the game stores around the UK and they will give you a special code and it will be able to give you these mystery gifts in game. It's gonna be a lot like getting the Surfetch with the codes that you get from the little slip that you get from the game store and you're gonna be able to download all three of them, which is pretty nice. Uh, France, you're gonna have Micromania. Netherlands, you're gonna have Game Mania. Belgium, Game Mania. Spain, you're gonna have Game. Italy, GameStop. Ireland, GameStop and in Germany GameStop as well and I'd imagine because it is GameStop over here it'll probably be the same event in GameStop in the US but I don't have any information on that as of yet as soon as I do I will update in a pinned comment down below but this is the event that's running currently at the moment and you're gonna be able to access it. And what I'm gonna do over the weekend is stop by game and see if I can get a few extra codes for this mystery gift event. And I will be doing a giveaway on the channel next week when we do the Lucario update for the Ash Catchem team. So stay tuned for that one. And I will try and get as many codes as I can for those of you that don't have access to this mystery gift event at the minute. And we'll try and give you some codes so you are able to take part in it if it's not on your region just yet. So. That is everything that I wanted to cover in today's video. It's a bit different. We've not had this much Sword and Shield news to cover in a little while, so it's quite nice. Sword and Shield still has all of these things going on while it's getting very close to the end of its kind of life cycle with Scarlet and Violet just around the corner. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's video, friends. Good luck getting that shiny Snom and picking up these mystery gift Pokemon as well that are now available for a limited time only. Remember, there is time limits on getting these Pokemon. So if you've got the opportunity to get them, do get them while you can. Like I say, look out for next week's video where we'll be doing hopefully a big-ish giveaway for some of these code cards if I can get enough of them to do a, a decent sized giveaway on the channel for those of you who can't get a hold of these gifts and also if you had missed the Gengar code as well that is still currently running until the 15th in that mystery gift event for the Ash Ketchum team then check out this video it'll be either side of me here and uh, you can get the code for that and grab that while it's still live but thank you so much for tuning in friends have a great rest of your day take care of yourselves more importantly than anything until next time bye bye